Good morning, Year 6. It's Friday already. Where's that week gone? Uh, thank you for completing your diary entries yesterday. Um, they were great. Really good to see some of you getting into this new story and taking on the role of the characters. Um, I'm just going to finish off the end of the chapter that we began on Wednesday um, for you to be able to complete today's task. And then we have another chapter um, to read as well, which I'll probably um, add on for you as a separate file. So um, you'll need to listen to that as well at the end of today's task. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen with you. Hopefully you'll be able to see it and you should be able to now see um, today's slides, Friday's Silver Donkey, um, and I'll present it on a full screen for you. So these are the last few pages that we had of the previous chapter um, about Monsieur Shepherd, um, where you had to decide on um, what advice you'd give the girls, then you did the diary entry yesterday, and I'm just going to finish that off for you. Remember, you must not tell anybody I'm here. Not yet, not yet. We'll remember, said Marcel. What's your name? asked Coco. Her eyes were still fastened on the shoulder, soldier's closed hand, on the slivers of silver that were glowing between his folded fingers. My name is Lieutenant, the soldier answered. Lieutenant Shepherd. Coco thought, Lieutenant? What a strange name for a person to have, even a person with an accent hiding in the woods. But her mother often said there was no accounting for some people, so Coco dismissed the thing as unaccountable. There was something more important buzzing in her mind. and She asked, what have you got in your hand? The soldier turned his face in the direction of her voice. He did not reply immediately, as if judging whether some things were best kept to himself. The girls waited, tense as cats. Then the soldier unfurled his fingers and held up the thing that was hidden in his palm. The object caught the morning light and threw it sparkling into the trees. The girls drew a breath, their hearts leaping. They trampled quickly closer, scuffing up the leaves. There, on the soldier's palm, stood a shining silver donkey. It was small as a mouse and just as perfect. Its legs were slender as twigs. It gazed through a fringe of carved lashes. It had four sturdy hooves, two fine pointed ears, knobbly knees, a scruffy mane and a smooth rounded muzzle. Its waggly tail was tipped with a kink of silvery hair. It seemed ready to canter across the soldier's shoulder and away into the forest. It was the most beautiful thing that Marcel and Coco had ever seen. Oh, gasped Coco. How darling, can I have it? Her sister smacked her and the soldier only smiled. I'm sorry, Coco, he said. I need it, you see. It's my good luck charm. Oh, Coco's eyes felt melded to the exquisite thing. And is it? Is it lucky, monsieur? The soldier's hand trembled as he stroked the donkey's back, but he was still smiling. I think so, Coco, he replied. I believe it is. And that's the end of the chapter. So today, from that, I would now like you to write in roll, okay? You're going to have to think about um, the next chapter, okay? And something that comes up in this chapter is the phrase creeping blindness. I'm going to add this as just an audio file for you to listen to, okay? The chapter is going to be the fog when, which I'll do separately. Think about creeping blindness. And then today your task will be to write, okay? Enroll, okay, a short account of the soldier's retreat, and you need to use those four things that are listed at the top of this page, inverted commas, modal verbs, shift in formality and parenthesis, but dashes, and I explain what the shift in formality is on the next page, okay, so you're going to write and roll as if you're the soldier about his retreat from the war and his complex feelings for doing this. How do you think he feels that he's kind of escaped from the war? What's he running from? What's he running to? We should be able to know that by now or have some good um, guesses perhaps. Explore his increasing blindness. So his blindness is getting worse and the understanding of his blindness, where you think it's come from, okay? Explains the things that you need to include. You need to listen to the next chapter in order to do this. And then on this final slide, could you please add your account? So I'm gonna stop this filming now. Um, go away and listen to the, the next chapter, The Fog When, as your audio file. And uh, I look forward to reading your accounts for the end of the week. Thanks very much, everybody.